Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Let's say it together. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. This progress that we've been talking about, where we build a foundation and then move on from there, brings us to a state of perfection. Let us go on to perfection. This is the goal that we are working toward, and it is not a foolish goal. It will be done by Christ in us in our last days, when sin is removed and death is removed, and we are standing before God, perfected by Christ. But here's what I've experienced in my personal Christian walk, and I suspect many of you as well, that the longer we walk with Christ, this is a weird sentence, but the more perfect we become. What do I mean by that? I mean, the things that used to trouble us, the sins we used to do, have lost their power. Are we sinless? No. But those ones are done. We reveal other ones underneath it, like peeling back an onion. But then those are taken care of. And we move on, and we move on, and we grow, and we build skills, and we become more like Christ every day if we're doing this walk. And so that after a while, especially if you spend a lot of time in church, or around church people, you grow completely out of the culture. And then if you go back to it, visiting old friends, seeing family members, you don't fit in at all anymore. You've moved on to some other stage of being, being perfected by the Holy Spirit. What used to make you laugh now makes you ashamed. What you used to find enjoyable is now disgusting. And the things that you are fascinated by now, the world around you cannot understand. It's almost like you're a different creature because of course you are. Let God do this work of making you perfect, changing you. Be willing to reach out to him as he reaches out to you and reach out to the unknown as he takes you from your comfort zone into a more full understanding of what it means to have new life in Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for your Holy Spirit on this congregation. I pray for new life. I pray for wisdom. I pray for eyes opened. I pray for a heart that is compassionate to the world around them. I pray for a desire to see new things from you, to see growth, to see spiritual power in their lives and in their ministries, not just for them, Lord, primarily for those around them. Lord, may these be an army of soldiers, doctors, nurses, working on the front lines, toiling to keep the lost from stumbling into hell. Lord God, may you do a marvelous work in this people, and may this service today be a step on that path. In your name, Jesus, amen. God bless everyone. See you next week.